All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we're going to embark on today is something a little bit different. We're still going to be starting a lot of triangles, but previously in your classes, you guys have been used to this. Ooh, that's a horrible triangle. All right. Now, besides that triangle, actually, that's not even the one that's most commonly used. Well, that's not even. But the main important thing about the triangle is what, you, what you've been accustomed to is what we kind of called like the, the holy grail, what made everything work, right? And that was this little, little box here. And that box told you that you had a 90 degree angle, right? Yeah. And a 90 degree angle we call, you know, a right angle. And that means you'd have a right triangle. And when you had a right triangle, you could do anything you wanted, right? Well, not really anything you wanted, but that opened up the doors for you to apply Pythagorean's theorem, right? You're like, oh, I can do Pythagorean theorem, it's a right triangle, got it. Um, you could also apply all of your sine, cosine, and tangents because you had a right triangle, right? Right? It was amazing, that, that opened up the doors to everything. Well, now, we're not going to be dealing with right triangles. So, what can we do to figure out the missing links? Remember, we talked about this in, um, in our previous chapters. You know, if I give you like, you know, an angle and 75 feet or something, you know, how can you find the missing angle? We could apply our trigonometric functions, right? Yes. Well, what do we do when we do, when we do not have a right triangle? Well, there's a simple technique. Um, but there's a couple techniques, but the one we're going to learn today is what we call the law of sines. And what's important about the law of sines is, first of all, let's look at how this triangle is labeled up. First of all, every single angle is going to have my uppercase angle. Is going to have an uppercase letter. It doesn't really matter how you want to label it or you know how it's labeled in the book. Just make sure your angles are uppercase. Then the next thing to notice is notice that the side lengths, the side lengths are smaller case and they're directly across from your angle. Smaller case. <laughs> smaller case. Lower case. Right? Smaller, lower yeah. case. It's all good. So smaller case. Just notice that they're directly across from them. Right? And it's also going to be in the lowercase because, Tess, what I'm going to be asking you is there's going to be problems when you're going to say, you know, what is C? And you're going to have to understand, oh, it's uppercase, that means they're asking me for the angle. Or it's a lowercase, that means they're asking me for the length. That's a big difference, right? So you need to understand that the lowercase is for your side lengths, uppercase is for your angles, and also that they're directly across from them. So what the law of sine states is the length of a side <coughs> of your triangle divided by the sine of that angle is proportionally equal to that same ratio of each side length and its angle. Okay? So all they're saying is, you know, that ratio between the sine of an angle and its side and its length and its uh sorry, the, the length of its side, we kind of say, you know, here's the ratio. That relationship, that ratio, is equal for all the sides and angles of a triangle. Make sense? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to do a problem, how we can apply this to be able to solve the missing lengths. Yes? Does it matter how it's labeled? Or does the side have to be across from the angle? The side has to be across from the angle. Yes, if they, because that's the most important thing. If you got to, that's what it means, it's A and sine of A. That's that relationship. But right there. Be so well, yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's it doesn't matter how you label it. Everybody got that? Oh, so that's a space. What? Does it matter how you label it? No, I mean, it doesn't matter. If, I mean, B over B, that could have been A and A. Oh, okay. You know. Yes? And your sine of A and B over the lowercase A. Yeah, it doesn't matter how these are. It's just the proportional relationship, so it could be either. Okay? 